Uppercut. Damn, I'm good. Dead or alive, you are coming with me. <laughs> Prove me wrong, and that'll be great. Hail to the king, baby. Hello, welcome back to A Boring Revolution, your number one news source for everything in regards to The Boring Company. So, lots of progress in Las Vegas. Sadly, it's all below the surface, not much to show you, but we know the progress has been really, really good because they have uh, at least four different, uh, what essentially you'd call launch pits, uh, reception shafts along the the main highway going down to the airport which i will explain in a short while so um this is a topic well worth talking about this is the boring company's most important project that they've co uh, committed to doing uh to date linking the airport up to the, con the conference center there and all the hotels in between is extremely important so we're just in the last day of November, so it's worth talking about uh, the progress. So if you have seen my previous um, video, as it were, I use this illustration of the overall um, route map that we're expecting to see. Um, the Boeing Company have over time been issuing various uh, route maps which I've used to uh, find the location of various stations. Um, one thing they do, which I guess is both a good thing and a bad thing, is that they constantly change things, which for many people would absolutely annoy the hell out of them. But um, you don't you don't improve by leaving thing as, leaving things as they are. And the Boeing Company is always modifying and updating its plans. Um, and this route map, which was very impressive, um, has been significantly improved. And the route uh, from the central station at the conference center uh, down to the airport has been considerably improved. So this is what we're now working with. Um, pause the video if need be, because there is a lot of uh, stations on that map and it's near enough impossible to see. Uh, or read it because it's in white and the background is in white. Not the best choice, Durbo and Company. Not the best choice. But the, uh, the the route in blue is what has been completed. So we have our Las Vegas Convention Center loop. So the original three stations. Then the, uh, the link up to the Riviera. The link up to Resorts uh, World. The Westgate Station and the Encore Win. They're all completed with the final stage of the Encore Win um, tunnel being built as we speak. The most important route though, however, is the orange route, which takes us down to the airport. So the orange route is currently what is under construction. The, the remaining purple lines are kind of projected to be built. As you can see, there is a lot of new things going on up here. This part of the system has grown considerably from possibly less than four stations now to well over 12, 13 stations, maybe more, I've not even counted. But um, the coverage of the, the route is now very substantial. And this means uh, that if you are a resident of Las Vegas, you could use this quite easily to commute around the city now because the coverage is so great and that will continue to improve. So just focusing on the orange line here, we can see it terminates at the uh, Las Vegas Convention Center Central Station. We then have a new station that is being proposed at the Mardi Gras Inn. Then we have uh, a new one at Emerald Suites. Neither of these have been uh, started construction. We're just focusing on the tunnel, but they will be added at a later date. Then we have various other stations that are planned along Paradise Road, 3824 Paradise Road, 3970 Paradise Road, 4300 Paradise Road, followed by uh, the Virgin Hotel, which is uh, well underway, and they're, they're building the station there as we speak. Um, 
somewhere called Harmon Square, which from what I can see is a lot of fast food restaurants, uh, Sabaro Pizza, um, uh, White Castle, and um, uh, I think a Dunkin' Donuts. I could be wrong. Uh, correct me in the comments below. <laughs> but it, it doesn't seem to really be anything there, but I'm guessing maybe that's a good place to put a station. Um, we then have a, a link to the Thomas and Mac Centre. There are actually two stations there. This is kind of the, the the least desirable of them, but it's still a link, so it could still be quite useful. And then we actually have um, a station labelled as Airport Centre. So I'm presuming that they will have this station and then in some means connect it up to the airport because it is about just over a third of the mile uh, from the airport really so you'd have to find some means of connecting up there potentially with um, some kind of access tunnel or maybe um, a pedestrian walkway or something like that I've not seen any plans but there needs to be a link there and I'm presuming that will be quite a considerable uh, station potentially with uh, up to 30 40 bays for vehicles Maybe more, we have no plans. The Boeing company shares very, very little until they start doing work, but uh, we'll follow up. So those are all the stations that we have now along this uh, orange uh, route. Um, so end to end, it's 2.4 miles. It's a dual bore system. So that's gonna mean it's gonna be about 4.8 miles. There you go, there's the arrow pointing to where it is. Um, now let's have a look at some of the progress along the route. So as you can see, um, we have our conference center buildings are in this kind of area here and the airport is down here. And then we have to have a means of connecting them. So what the, the plan is, is to connect under Paradise Road, which is one of the main roads in Las Vegas and then have multiple stations along that route, as we've just discussed. Um, we're looking at this area here, which is the silver lot to the conference center. So this is located uh, just to the west of the central station. Um, so ultimately, at some point, this will be connected up to the central station. They're not gonna do that right now. The reason being is they don't want any disruption to uh, the, the conferences uh, during the, the, the kind of, um, uh, early kind of summer period that's coming up fairly soon so they're probably going to wait uh, un until after the main kind of conferences are finished before they make that connection because ultimately they're going to need to close central station or potentially theoretically this is all uh, guesswork they could build the station on top of the underground station but that would add some inefficiencies so my theory is that they will close that station down. They will make a connection underground into it and then they'll redesign that station, potentially even enlarge it so they can get more vehicles through it. And then that will connect up to the Westgate Hotel uh, Resorts World and the Wynn um, uh, Casino there. Um, Encore Wynn, that's the one. Um, th this is the site that's in question. Um, I have some questions about it, but I, I think I've kind of worked it out without seeing the plans. So this is a site. It's an underground site. As you can see, uh, we, we're using our prefa prefabricated concrete uh, wall panels here, um, as we've done in previous uh, projects, as the Boeing Company have done, um, soldier piles and lagging here as well. So it's all fairly standard. We, 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 we've talked about this in the past. It's a good way of doing things. Standardize the process. You've got your guys continuously doing the same thing uh, week in, week, week out on various projects. So they know the system well. It's quick. The costs are, are relatively fixed. It's simple to do. Doesn't require an excessively deep excavation. Um, you know, st steel is readily available at, at, at very good prices in, in the USA, certainly compared to Europe. So this is a very useful um, system. Um, here's a better look at it. The, the one thing that certainly confused me is that we have one access tunnel. 
with this being a dual bore system, why is this only using one access tunnel? I think that the other tunnel, uh, which is heading up the strip, will connect up at the Wynn Encore Casino there. Um, again, I've not seen plans for that, so I can't say for sure. But I'm guessing this area here will become some form of plant room or maybe somewhere to store vehicles. We don't know. We have no plans. It's a large open space. Vehicles will come through here. There'll be a tunnel at the other end and then they will exit there and go into the central station or potentially up to the surface on a ramp. Um, but it's very, very close. Um, less than 200 meters away from the central station, way less than that. So it, it's gonna be fairly uh, cheap and quick to connect up the two uh, ends there. Um, as you can see, they've used these pre prefabricated concrete slabs as they like to do. Um, and, and this kind of just uh, massively speeds up the process rather than having to actually cast an in situ slab on top of the uh, using a transfer deck so it, it, it just makes things a lot easier and uh, the prices stay relatively uh, similar it requires less labor as well um, here is another um, what, what can we say launch pit yeah it's a launch pit not a reception shaft located at 4300 paradise road um, just in front of the embassy suites here um, so I believe this is about 1.4 miles from uh, the silver lot where we've just discussed there going down Paradise Road. So before everyone gets in the comments, this is Paradise Road here. Not the straightest line in the world. But the tunnel is just under Paradise Road. So if you're wondering where things are, use the addresses that I've given you and also just assume that everything's under Paradise Road because everything's under Paradise Road. Um, this is heading up towards the, the, the conference center and that's where it will eventually finish um, and it probably has already finished because it, they seem to be taking this site down so that's obviously connected up to the silver lot or is going to the end core probably this is the one that's connected to the silver lot I'm pretty confident with that but hey maybe I'm wrong but we know that tunnels pretty much done just needs to be fitted out with lighting and the uh, the rest of the road deck um, as you can see this is listed as 43000 Paradise Road um, very standard we've seen all this before um, we, we have the uh, the cassette here um, which is used for the conveyor belt conveyor belt cassette it, it, they, they continue to reuse uh, all the techniques they've used in the past uh, including these blocks for the retaining wall and then this becomes uh, a muck pit which they fill as they're going and then it gets emptied uh, via an excavator um, I've also started to see these gantry cranes start to appear on pretty much every job now which which makes a lot of sense and then you can just uh, disassemble it and reassemble it on other jobs so again we're reusing things we're not having to go out there and manufacture new things or purchase it or hire it it's all the boring company's equipment um so i'm expecting costs for tunneling to still be around 4.7 million dollars per tbm mile remember uh, each route will have two tunnels so you'll do two times 4.7 to get your outcome um this is another site which is way further down the strip. Um, it's not quite at the airport, but it's very, very close. Uh, 4768 Paradise Road. Um, we've got two tunnels here. As you can see, this is just off Google Maps. I've pulled it off. If anyone's in this particular area and wants to do me a favor, please go to 4768 Paradise Road in Las Vegas and uh, take me some pictures because these are a little bit old now but we have two tunnels um, one tunnel is going to be heading up to 4300 paradise road as we've just seen and it make a connection there i'm presuming this other tunnel will go near the virgin hotel although again i don't have the plans so i can't be absolutely 100 percent certain but that would be the logical place in my opinion um it's obviously going underneath the road and then heading uh, north towards the conference center um 
Here's a picture from the other side. So as you can see, there's some Tesla superchargers here. Coincidentally, uh, we have our uh, conveyor belt uh, cassette here. Um, and these are silos for our grout. Um, there's both tunnels that have obviously been there quite a while now. Um, uh, eventually, once the tunnel's been completed and the road deck's been installed, they will disassemble um, sort of the first eight or nine uh, ring beams and then uh, they'll just have a nice little neat uh, kind of projection that comes out from the ground at, the, at this angle uh, which works out quite well I don't know what they use do with the segments once they've disassembled them I mean I guess you could reuse them um, although I have a funny feeling they might just uh, use them as my maybe like demonstration things or or even grind them up and throw them away who knows but uh, yeah, so good progress there. Um, I, just to kind of explain to you where that is, it's near Dollar Car Rental and near the Rideshare TNC staging lot at Reed International Airport. But we're not quite, the airport is like down here. So it's slightly too, in my, it's slightly out of the way. That There will be another station further down here way down here another four or five hundred meters maybe 600 meters but uh yeah so all in all very 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 good progress by the boring company um they, they, they've constructed well in excess of three and a bit miles of tunnel so far there is about um 4.8 miles altogether which i'm presuming they will finish by the middle of next year um it's hard to say whether they'll make that connection operational um, by sort of Christmas next year. That that might be a little bit of a big ask, ask um, as they need to commission it. And um, I'm presuming the regulators will be quite stringent about what they accept for that particular route, given that it connects to a major international airport um, and vehicles will be travelling uh, in and around 55 to 60 miles per hour in that particular part of the system so it, it probably will be in 2026 um, but you, you never know you never know it might only take them three or four months to complete the remainder of the, the tunneling and then to, to kind of fit out the tunnels and then get it commissioned uh, theoretically they could get that done by December of next year but it, it remains to be seen. It remains to be seen. Um, but yeah, hopefully you learned something from this video and you're just excited as I am about the Boeing Company's progress in Las Vegas. Has been excellent to say the least. This is a very, very big, important project for the Boeing Company because we're going from just a localized system that serves hotels in and around the conference center and the actual conference center itself to connecting into a major international airport and also all those uh, major um, hotels and tourist attractions along Paradise Road, um, which is around 2.4 miles in length from the conference center. Hope you uh, enjoyed that. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you have any opinions as to when you think the project will finish or where they should put the where they should start the next uh, major tunnel, then put that in the comments below. And please like the video. Please follow me on these various social media platforms. As always, my amazing patrons have paid for this entire setup, have done an incredible job. They've stuck with me for many, many uh, years now, and we're on to episode 200, which I'm very, very proud about. And uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm hoping to do another 200 episodes, uh, although it might take me 10 years to do so. But uh, yeah, thanks for joining everyone. I uh, hope you have a great day. And uh, remember, don't be boring. Take care now. Goodbye. Come get some. Five star please for you. You are mine now. You belong to